Welcome back to our channel. I'm Dee. And I'm Dory. And we are all about sewing and being thrifty and just having fun with it. And uh, we hope you had a wonderful week and are enjoying. Yeah. It seems like winter is coming upon us today. It's like in the 20s when we wake up and snow is in the snow forecast. Snow is in the forecast. So by the time you see this, I'm sure we'll be having more snow. So Yeah. yeah. So anyway. So this, this week, we had drawn for uh, making a craft item. Yes, yes. Craft item. Craft item. So, so like, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But, I, yes. before we go into it, we have an we inspirational have, thing. <gasps> we do, and we can't forget to draw. No, we're doing <laughs> it at the bottom. I'm like, I mean, at the bottom. <laughs> at the bottom. At, at the, the bottom. End. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom of this video. <laughs> Okay, so we've had quotes before from Albert Einstein. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, that's so, okay. He was a German-born theoretical physicist who was widely yeah. held to be one of the greatest and most influential scientists of all time, according to Wikipedia. And, and his brain was bigger than the average brain. Did you know that? I did not know that, but I'm not surprised because at the age of 12, he began teaching himself algebra, calculus, and geometry. Who does that? At t age 12, I was climbing trees, you know. I was pretty a deep thinker. I was a pretty oh. deep thinker about that time. I didn't get it to be a deep thinker in time. I was 16. <laughs> At 12, I was not a deep thinker. I was playing Starship Enterprise yes, in the corn crib. <laughs> there you go, yeah. We what did to, you do when we you were 12? We shake that, that corn Oh, yeah, that was funny. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. well, anyway, <laughs> more than you needed to know. <laughs> anyway, he was born in 1879 in Germany, and he died in 1955 in, the, in New Jersey at the age of 76, and he died from a ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm. Well, he went quick. Wow. A, A, A. Very painful when that happens, but it's quick. Oh, is that? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad it was quick. Yeah. Especially back then, they didn't have much they could do for that, I'm sure. Yeah. Even today, when that happens to people, very few survive it because you have to get help, like, boom. Oh. Because yeah, 76 seems kind of young to me. It is. <laughs> so Unless you're 20. Closer to 70. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Unless yeah, you're 20, yeah, then it seems older. like it's yeah. like a long time off. Yeah. Anyway, okay. So. We did this craft thing, yeah. <laughs> and I was going to be like, oh, I'm going to make a purse. <laughs> okay, first thing I have to say is, Vera Bradley, you have nothing to worry about. I will not be <laughs> taking over the purse industry. <laughs> I'm sure she was worried about that. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, and so why is that? Why <laughs> is it that? I made McCall's 4936. <laughs> this view here, cute as can be, I thought. It is cute. And I didn't think it would be hard. I And I I have attempted to make a purse. I've made tote bags. Those are different. Tote bags can be super yeah. easy. But tote, I mean, purses. Well, I was just so proud of myself because I went out of my comfort zone and bought these little feet to, so that I would put the feet yeah. in. Yeah. I bought the canvas to keep that straight. I, um. Oh, you did. You yeah. got that yeah. stiff on the bottom. And um, I had from, I had the rope that's enclosed in the handles. I had that Look rope at, at home that I got thrifted. I bought a big thing of it for $3. Yeah. So yeah. I got that. I did have to buy the magnetic clasp. Which is very magnetic. Which, it's yeah, good. it's good. It works well. And so the feet, by the way, I could not, Joanne's did not carry it. <gasps> you didn't get them there? No, I had to go to Hobby Lobby. Really? There's no directions <laughs> on the feet. Did you YouTube it then? No, because I had already done the magnet, the magnetic class, mm -hmm. which I had gotten at Joanne's, and that had directions on the back of it. So these were very similar in the way they looked. Oh, okay. So I was like, oh, I know how to do that. Oh, look that, at you. Yeah. Using so, that intelligent brain that you didn't develop until later in time. Until I was 12. <laughs> so, and it does have... Um, <laughs> 
Oh yeah, pocket. look at that. Cute little pocket. And uh, yeah, I like the lining. Yeah, it's nice. So this is thrifted fabric and this is sample fabric. Oh, okay. For you know how they um, sample, they have sample books of pat, fabric. Uh, fabric. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was in there. Um, and so was the flap, which in hindsight, this was too stiff, too oh. heavy. Um, should have been uh, a, a, a similar. Same, yes, it should have been fabric because you have to sew all these layers together. Oh boy. All these layers together and it was a pain, I might add, because you add the flap last. And yeah, and, and. You did this, a nice job covering the rope. Thank you. That would have been painful too, I would have thought. And you use a, a zipper foot. Oh, okay, very good. Yeah, and because I had this, this here I got on clearance too. Um, it's like a band, what do I want to say? Yeah, like a band, like a ribbon. Oh, yeah. okay. Only, of course, heavier, stiff, heavier, much heavier, heavier. Much heavier yeah. yeah. So I could just fold it in two, and so I didn't have to tuck that in because mm -hmm. it's all, it's not going to fray at all. So it, you know, at first, at first I really liked it because I loved working with this fabric, and it was fun to work with, and it was fun doing the lining and all that, and then I got to this part here. There's supposed to be a zipper in it. Oh, I tore that zipper out three times and said, I'm not putting a zipper out. <laughs> I'm sorry, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, so by that time I was like, I hate this purse. I hate it, I'll never use it. <laughs> but then when I put stuff in it and slept on it overnight, not slept on my purse, but slept on the, <laughs> slept on the thought, yeah. then, then I was like, oh, I kind of like it. Yeah, very nice. I think nice. it's cute. Yeah. I would think it would be better to have some elastic here. Oh, you could, you could just, Tap I would think in. if you put a little elastic there. Yeah, you that could would do be that. Great. Yeah. And uh, if I was to make it again, I would use the lighter fabric here. I think it is cute. Yeah, it's such a heavy fabric. It's well, such not a lighter as in color, but the heaviness. Right, right. Yeah, that's like upholstery to the. Yeah, that's a heavy. I know. What was I thinking? I don't know. Heavy duty, that's for sure. I don't know. But yeah, that's probably what I was thinking. Oh, it would be good to have something heavy. But yeah. yeah. But anyway, it's a cute little purse. I'll, I'll use it for a little while and then I'll donate it. Probably. So kudos to all of you seamstress sewers uh, out there that make their make purses. purses. It's not as easy. It's a, it can be a challenge. But yeah. I th I'm sure once you get it down and you learn how right. to do things and the technique. Yeah. But it's, I'm not giving up. I mean, now this is the second purse I tried to make. That's true. You made one a long time ago. I made ago. one a long time ago and that didn't turn out. <laughs> So, this is better. I'm going, this one's better, you know, just keep improving, I hope. <laughs> but yeah, and then they just said, put a little button over the snap. Yeah, to, to decorate it or whatever. So I thought that one would look cute with Plus it. Plus to help you find the snap. Yeah, right. So that's my little purse. Would you like to, to see me reveal it, even yes. though I just showed it to you? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Let's see. Let's have reveal. a second reveal. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Very cute. Very nice. And I like the straps are long enough. You can put it over the yeah. shoulder if you want to or carry yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. cute. Yeah. I wonder if a crossbody would be as hard. I don't know. But, oh, you know what? It just made me think of, so I, I get some um, vegetables through the mail uh, from, <laughs> there's, there's a reason, <laughs> from Misfits. Okay. Okay. And so they send the the cold stuff in a... Aluminum, not aluminum. Is it aluminum? It's like foil, but it's 
insulated. Oh, yeah, it's that insulated. insulated. And, and so <gasps> you can save that uh, and, you, and sew with it. You're exactly. right, put it inside. I can make my own cooler. You can make your own little lunchbox. Yes. Your sister needs a new lunchbox. I know. That's what made me think of it. And I thought, oh. and I like the simple ones that are just, you know, the bag and the yeah. zip on the top. A zip, zip on the top. <laughs> hey, you know what? Who, you know, who can show you how to put on a really great zipper and the top, you may not be according to the exact directions of the, of the particular bag is Nancy Zeman. She came up with a really easy oh, way to I'll do that. I'll have to. Yeah. And I'm sure YouTube. there's other YouTubes out there that show it that yeah. way. But that's so, your yeah, problem. that's exactly what I thought. I remember Ooh. you saying, oh, I need an, a little yeah. lunchbox. And I thought, I'm just throwing these away. I'm going to save it. Yeah, that's use great. It. Yeah. That's a great idea. I did want to say, I did look this up trying to find somebody who had made it so I could see how in the world <laughs> no. the zipper works, you know. And um, all I could find was on um, Pattern Review. Yeah. A lady had said, it was easy except the zipper. <laughs> I couldn't understand the zipper. I finally got it. And I thought, well, I wish you would have told us how you got it because I didn't do it. I, I don't get the instructions at all on the zipper. Yeah. You know, even logically, I tried to make sense of it and... Yeah, it was the 12 year old brain kicking in. <laughs> there you go. Oh, anyway, so that was my craft item. You did a nice job. Very right? interesting. Yeah, and did you say it was McCall's yes. earlier? 4936. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. There's several different views there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I could have made different ones, but yeah. I just kind of nice. liked the shape of that. Like yeah. I, I thought it was cute. Yeah, very yeah. nice. So. Okay. All right, what'd you make? Well, I, on the other hand, <laughs> chose a really simple I did not I did not realize how easy it was to make a hat like this oh and I have put off good to know putting making a hat forever because oh I like this one with the flowers on. yeah I I have put off that's the one I made oh I, I, I put it. off I <laughs> I've put off making it I've had I have three patterns for hats similar to this and I I didn't realize how easy, at least this one was super easy to make. Really? It was. How long do you think it took? Probably took me, not counting cutting out it, cutting it out, because that, you know, about a half an hour <gasps> to sew up. Oh it was gosh. like super easy. Can you believe that? Yeah. So anyway, this is, uh, what is this? Simplicity. So easy. Um, A, which, does that mean it's off the rack? No. No. A1534. Now, I don't know, this was in 20, when was this one put out? It's an older pattern. Okay, 2013. I was close. 10 years. Yeah. Almost. Almost 10 years for almost this. 11. So it has two different styles. One's looser than the other one. This one, the A one, the one that I made is more form-fitting. Uh, B is a looser, kind of a bucket hat. I think that's what those they're called. Um, so it is supposed to be made out of fleece. Okay, oh. that's the only fabric it says for this, fleece. Fleece. Oh, well, I had no fleece in the house. <laughs> no fleece at all. So I thought, well, so you know she what? she went out and got a lamb. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, they're fleece, yeah. Uh, or sheep, yeah, or the sheep, yeah. And I took and carded it, and, you know, and sheared it, and weaved it. Wow, yeah. she really and took we, this yeah. to heart. This yeah. is a No, I didn't do any of that. So I went through some of my scrap pile because I'm like, I know I've got something that I can make this out of. So I found this, um, like, Sherpa scrap that I had, not too much of it, for the band to go around. Huh. And then this on the top, this is just a knit, but it's like a sweatshirt material. You can see oh. it's like a sweatshirt material on the inside. Okay. So um, it's just it's just a circle for the top. So and then you have the band that goes around the head and then the band, the other band <laughs> that's here. But I did not exactly, I don't, I don't, it's supposed to totally be, the band turns up like this. Oh, that's red. Oh, and it needs to be cut. Okay, I'll get that later. I uh, thought I got them all. So I don't like, I don't like it for my head with the band up. I think it's too short. Oh. It's too, you know, short. And yeah, I, it looks longer in the picture. It does. It looks a lot looks longer a lot in the longer. picture. And I measured it so it would fit my head, you know, so I'd have a right size. I was going to say, I need a medium. Because it's small, medium, and large. Well, I just took a measuring tape and put it around my head. 
That's what I did. And then it tells you then, oh yeah, then it tells you the sizes. The sizes. 20, yeah. So you have a 22 inch head. Yeah, that's what it said, 22 <laughs> inch and I did medium. So I like it down. I don't think it looks bad, but then the seam, you know, it, it depends on how fussy you are. But the seam then for the outer band here is on the outside, but you can't really tell. I, when it's on, I don't think you even no. notice it. So it was super easy. I am gonna make me another. I am gonna make another one. Yeah. I I just really is that black or blue? You know what? It, I had a oh, hard time. It's blue. I had a hard huh. time telling. I thought it was black because all my coats are black. Well, most of them. And uh, but it's so close. Yeah. I think the difference wouldn't. You right. really wouldn't see it. Yeah. Because it, I started sewing and it got under my sewing machine light and I went. Is this really black? <laughs> I don't know. Is it white? I mean, not white. <laughs> <laughs> is it navy or is, is it, it black? Is it pink? <laughs> is it yellow? <laughs> nah. So anyway, I like it. I didn't realize how easy it was to make. So now I'll be looking for little scrap pieces. And that's all this was. This was just a piece of scrap. Yeah, it doesn't take much fabric, does it? It doesn't. Well, it takes seven eighths or wait. What does yeah, it that the hat takes three eighths of a yard. Three eighths of a yard. And I just pieced it out. That's what I did. You know, because this band is one color and this is another color, which I think gives it a little more style. Yeah. And you still could pin something up there. I could. You could put, um, you know, what's, what used to be popular is those pins. Just a pin. Brooch. A brooch. You could put a brooch up there. Yeah. And I had. That would be awesome. I have, well, I have a pin that my intention was. To have this be white, or even this color, and this to be black, black. And you gave me a, a clip pin from Ireland, I think. That's black and white. And I was going to put that on there, but the color doesn't, oh. you know. Well, you have to make another one. Yeah, I, I will be looking for one to do. Because I, I thought it was cool. And this being the Sherpa, and the, back, the, the backing on this Sherpa, you know, there's nothing there. It's just, see, that's just like a knit on there. That's it. And there's no stretch to it hardly at all. But it fits on my head nice and snug. It's not too tight. And that's warm. That's like an ear warmer with my hat. She's all ready for winter. So, yeah. And when it's cold out, I like to wear a hat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, me too. Keeping those ears. But I it, like it. It actually looks like that's ear warmers on you. Yeah. That's like you have ear warmers on. And, they, and this is because that's that Sherpa. That's yeah. going to keep my ears nice and warm. That's, I like that idea. Yeah. That's so. great. Well, let's watch the reveal. Oh, sure. Yeah. There you go. So try, give great. it a try if you're thinking hats are hard to do. It's the circle was not hard once I it took me a minute to think about how that circle because you do this band, the top band, the top band you sew, the center band, and then you put the circle on the center band. But once you do once you start figuring out, once you figure out how to put it on there, it's like, man, this is not hard. Cool. Yeah, it's not bad. The whole thing was super simple. Cool. Yeah, it was. All right, so there's my craft item. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'd like to share a few pictures here from the fall in Maryland. Uh, yes, um, one of our viewers um, sent some pictures for us because, you know, I had featured some pictures. And so oh, Louise... That looks like a pretty... Her, her Louise screen. O. The who? Louise O. Oh. O N. <laughs> Louise O. You know who you are, Louise. Yes. Yeah. Um, and Louise is a beautiful name. I, our grandma was Louise. And, and her nickname is Lulu. Oh, Lulu. Yeah. So Lulu, thank you. We love the picture of the Marine. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Now, where is this from? This is from Maryland. Oh, okay. So she must be living close to the ocean. And here's the fall the colors. Inlets. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's beautiful. Those reds. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Gorgeous. So Maryland has beautiful falls too. They do. Yeah. Yeah, and thanks, very nice. Thank thanks you. for your nice comments, too. She says she watches our videos every Sunday and enjoys them while she has her tea. Oh, nice. Yes. So very thank nice. you very much, thank Louise. Thank you. All right.
So let's do our drawing for our next for our next challenge. Our next challenge, yeah. So I'll shake the box. Shake it up. Shake it up. There you go. Well, goodness gracious! Let me get the lid off. <laughs> Make a favorite pattern again. Suggested by Nad Nadine W. Nadine. Nadine. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Nadine. Nadine W, make a favorite pattern again. Ooh. Okay. All right. Got the brain thinking. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. I have. You know, I I rarely, I don't know if I've ever made the same pattern twice. Oh, I have. Because once I get it to fit yeah. right, then the way I like it. It's you like, have. I have not, so this is interesting for me. Yeah, for you it'll be interesting. Yay, at least one that's challenging for you. Okay. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that Einstein. We need to hear what his his saying was. Your man. Did we, we didn't even say it? At the <laughs> <beginning>. <laughs> we just went. See, it pays to watch us to the end. Then you find out. What <laughs> we talked all about him, but didn't say it. We never oh. said. Okay, so this is good for <laughs> this week's challenge. <laughs> Your imagination is your preview of life's coming attractions. So we both use our imagination on our on our craft stuff, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so I like the fact that we use our imaginations. I don't know how that corresponds with a preview of life's coming attractions, but <laughs> it worked. It was fine. <laughs> that was this quote that you missed at the beginning. <laughs> you just weren't paying attention. <laughs> no, no, don't be putting it off on other people. No, okay. Um, and please send us any makes that you have for yeah. us. For, uh, la, 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 la. Any craft items, too. That would be great. I so too at mei.net. Yeah. And uh, hit like, subscribe. And uh, thumbs forward. up, forward, comment. And if you want a challenge, make a purse. You want something easy, make a nice little hat. <laughs> okay. See you next time. All right. Bye. Bye.